a whole year since we last saw you. It's your girl, Anna Roisman, flying in for a double dose of HQ games tonight. Okay, we did it. Let's call this the Super Bowl of HQ, right? The HQ Super Bowl. Should have saved that for words. <laughs> I know you missed us last week, but here we are with everything you've been missing. Okay, it is time for HQ trivia, and then we've got a bonus game of HQ words. What? So much has happened since the last HQ. Okay, it's a brand new month. It is Black History Month. The Olympics are underway. The groundhog saw his shadow. I ate some chips and dip today. Will any of this come up in the game? <laughs> we'll just have to see. Definitely the chips won. But not everything will be a surprise tonight, okay? It is time for the classic HQ trivia that you are used to by now. Unless this is your first game. In which case, welcome. I'm glad you came out from under a rock for the last three years. All right, tonight we are throwing down the usual diabolical dozen trivia questions your way, each of them with three possible answers. Tap the true answer, repeat 11 more times, and boom, tonight is your night. Because not only will you look smart to whomever's in the room with you, but you'll snag your cut of tonight's $2,500 prize, baby. Ooh la la. And you'll need more than just knowledge to reach that finish line. You will. You need to feel it in here. You'll have to keep your cool under pressure and think quickly on some of the hardest questions, right? Sometimes computation and logic come into it as much as knowledge. I sound smart, <laughs> what? <laughs> but whatever tools you have on your belt, it's always a wild ride. It really is. And I'm always amazed at how many of you make it through. You do so well, because these questions are so hard, yo. They're really hard. Now prepare yourself for the toughest run around the block your brain will get all day. Unless you, I don't know, took your SATs. <laughs> Unplug that TV right now. Turn off the It's time to take a nap. Eliminate every possible distraction for the next few minutes. Because right now, oh baby, it is time to saddle up and ride into the night with question number one. Here we go. Q1. What defense mechanism helps the tortoise avoid predators? A team of lawyers, a rigid shell, fast talking patter. Tortoises contain nutrition like any other animal, so they need to keep away those hungry predators. And unless there's been a big evolutionary leap lately, it uses its rigid shell. Oh yes it does, a rigid shell is the answer. Woo, 22,509. You got it, right? You used that protective shell and you solved it. Imagine if tortoises talked. It wouldn't be fast talking powder, right? It'd probably be pretty slow, actually. All right, moving on to Q2. The social gaffe called manspreading became famous for occurring where? Buffets, public transport, or wedding receptions. This term first appeared in 2013, and I started a lot of debate about societal boundaries. Okay. Public transit, it is, it, you know, it's not fun. When you get on a train, you see someone with their legs all out and you can't even sit next to them. Come on, 18,288. You got it, you have your manners, basic manners, right? Man spreading. You can do that if you're on your couch and no one lives with you. <laughs> if you live alone on your couch, man spread all you want. Moving on to Q3, I'm never saying that word again. Which is not one of the trigonometric ratios? Cosecant, cotangent, coter minus. There are six trig ratios and three of them start with cotangent. But code or minus, made up. <laughs> that word's just made up. That's the wrong answer, but the right answer. Didn't I say it like it was a real word? It might be, I don't even know if it's a real word. Congrats to 18,029 of you. Y you you weren't a code or minus, you were a coder plus. Another word I just made up. <laughs> All right, Q4. Slugging is a popular beauty treatment involving what product? Baby oil, Vaseline, WD-40. actually been around for a while, but it's only recently gone viral under the name slugging. The idea is it's said to be good for your face if you go to bed with a layer of Vaseline on it. 
Vaseline is the answer, 15,265. Sp I spent so much money on skin cream, you're telling me I could just been using Vaseline this whole time? Woo! You know, it's good to do this, I guess, the night before laundry day, because if your pillow's covered in Vaseline, it's gonna be a little messy, right? You know what else is kind of beautiful? You know what I feel like is pretty beautiful? Do you guys want a gift? Should we do, should we give them a gift? I feel, I feel like, you know, I, I read that question about Vaseline, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it right now. Let's do a gift, open up your gift. Merry Christmas, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, did you get a super spin? That might come in handy. We gotta get back to this game. Q5. What mascot appropriate to the Lunar New Year represents... Oh, oh I'm back. <laughs> represents this year's winter. Dumpling, lantern, or tiger. There we go. What, we're in the year of the tiger right now, okay? In Pyeongchang already used a white tiger, so Beijing got creative with Shui Ron Ron, the glowing lantern. Oh, it's so cute. I love that little lantern. Little, he looks like a dumpling, but he's a lantern. Oh, stumped you. I'm sorry, it's a savage question. Oh, it's savage. Luckily you got that extra life. That gift, better use it, because we got more of this game. All right, moving on to the next question, Q6. Which is the U.S. Department of Labor? Wow. The department's been here for over a century, so there probably won't be an iMac or like Uber Eats car on the seat. For older, traditional tools of manual labor, like the anvil and the plow, meaning the loom is not included. It is the the loom. Did you guess loom? Did you get it? Thousand nine hundred forty-nine of you came back strong. You can still come back. I see you. I see all you people who chose Anvil. You can come back. And if we did it today, it'd be like influencer, like a picture of a phone or something. All right, Q seven. Which of these cooking terms comes from a trademarked word? Braising, roasting, brunoising. finally dicing something, but it's less than 70 years since chicken was first cooked by the Broster Company. <laughs> Broasting is the answer. Broasting the chicken, 4,610. You get dinner tonight! You do. It sounds like if, ba if braising and roasting had a baby, right? The Broster. I love it. It's a good word. All right, moving on to Q8. Which of these space agencies is not in the same country as the other two? ISS, ISRO, JAXA. Lots of countries are in the space game now, and you can even find multiple agencies in the same country. Two of these acronyms are based in Japan. ISRO is from India. ISRO is the answer. Oh, oh that was close. 2,247. It's going to be a good payout in this game. I feel it right now. It's a hard game. You got it right. We didn't even mention NASA. You're too smart for that. If I put NASA in there, uh-uh. You would know that one. All right, Q9. What is the past participle of strive? Strived, striven, strove. The past participle isn't that hard. It's the one that goes with the word have. Like, I strove a little yesterday, but it's not the most I have ever striven. Did you, str have you, have you been, str have you striven this week? I can't even use it in a sentence. 2,075 of you got it right. They call me a word queen. Okay. <laughs> the answer. It's tricky, but it's worth striving for. Boom. But Okay. We got it in. All right. A couple more here. They're getting hard. Q10. Which invention is not credited? Camera film. Black inventors have given us fun stuff like the super soaker and video game cartridges. Plus, Frederick Jones invented the refrigerated truck and Mark Dean came up with the color monitor. 
which means instant film. Well, when's the last time you used instant camera film? <laughs> Oh, 1,572 of you. I'm taking your photo right now. Instant. It's my instant camera film, you know? iPhones are kind of instant camera film. Okay, Q11. Indiana Jones's costume was inspired by a 1950s film set where? Africa, Asia, South America. The costume designer for Raiders of the Lost Ark said that the big influence came from a Charlton Heston film about a similar guy called Harry Steele. And since the title was Secret of the Incas, I think it's safe to say South America is the answer. There he is, Harrison Ford, South America. Oh, that was close. 80 of you got it right. Oh my goodness. I'm so proud of you, 980, going into this final one. Are you ready for it? Do you feel as powerful as Indiana Jones? Because it is time for the final question of the night. This is for the money. This is it. But you know what? If you don't get it this time, just remember, you got one more game after this, okay? You can come back strong. All right, Q12. Here we go. What move is there no button for in the video game with the longest closing credit sequence? Jump. You've seen long credits before, but how about almost four hours of credits? What could possibly be in credits for that long? Well, the names of the crowdfunders who made The Mighty Number no. 9 a reality because it was funded on Kickstarter. But he didn't kick anyone! No, 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 there is no kick button! Oh, that is the answer, and it looks like 458 of you! Hey, congratulations, this was a very hard game, but you just won HQ Trivia, baby! Let's go to the moon! Woo! I gotta tell you, that was hard. That was a tough game. Be proud of yourself. You made it past like Q8. You did an amazing job tonight. You did it! Let's see some of our winners. Let's see some of our winners. You know the word nerds are in the wing. They're going, I'm coming back hard. $5.40. Oh my god, that's a great payout. Congrats to Meow Devil. John2421. We got Rosa next. Neurosurgeon. Hey, it looks like you can do more than. Love you, 74. Love you too, babe. Roni, 222. We got Rich Sam. We've got the Mandalay. We've got, I don't know, Kaiser 4K. Oh, I'm so proud of you all. You did it. Congratulations. $5.45, 46 cents, all 458 of you. Congratulations to all of the beautiful winners. Oh, think of it as a good omen, right? Heading into the weekend or heading into the next game. But really, you're all winners, okay? That was hard. And you know how to have fun. You know how to work that big brain of yours up there. That's its own. game. We got a big HQ words game. You've been waiting for it. You've been demanding it. You've been wordling hard. What should I wear? I got to change. I don't know. I'm Anna Roisman and I got to go get in the bubble for a little words action. So grab a snack, hang tight. I will see you in a few. Use those super spins. Bye. Woo!